Astra making a challenge alongside Betty. That could be a challenge for the lead. There is still some question whether 27 or 11 is actually in the lead. Now Yarborough brings it down to the line. Cale Yarborough is leading Darrell Waltrip. The crowd is cheering. They're cheering for Waltrip. They're cheering for Yarborough as Yarborough comes through the last turn and heads for the checkered flag. But who is actually the victor of this race? Here comes Yarborough, the checkered flag being given to Yarborough. Waltrip right behind him, but still a question mark. Which one of these two cars has won the Pocono 500? Cale Yarborough or Darrell Waltrip? Richard Petty and Benny Parsons right in there behind Waltrip and Yarborough, but some question, who has won this race? The official scoreboard is showing that Cale Yarborough has won. We're waiting at victory lane. Here comes Cale Yarborough around. Two different sets of scorecards showing two different sets of information. NASCAR scoring showing Cale Yarborough one lap behind Darrell Waltrip. That would give the race to Darrell Waltrip. But this race is still not over as Cale Yarborough drives down toward Victory Circle. Darrell Waltrip has been pulled up and stopped before Victory Circle. Now the officials try to stop Yarborough, but he pulls on in. And there is still confusion about who is leading this race at the checkered flag. Yarborough has actually put his car just inside the Victory Circle gate. Who's won this race? Let's go down to Gary Gerald. Gary? Gerald, yeah, what's your position right now? Well, I know what happened. Yeah. Uh, Kale was just about to be lapped on the racetrack before the caution came out. He came in the pit. I made a fast lap around the racetrack and lapped him in the pit. There's no doubt in my mind about what happened. All right. So you're firmly convinced at this point you have won this race. I think, the, you know, I think the proof's in the pudding. As soon as they go through the scorecards, they'll see that. One quick comment about the, the foot injury. How did it stand up today? Well, it was, it was all right. It's sore and hurts, but it's okay. We're good about it right now, I guess, in all this controversy. Yeah. Thank you, Derek. Well, Darrell Waltrip may be convinced, but certainly David Ift and Cale Yarborough is not convinced that he won the race. Yarborough thinks he won. Look at David Ift. Boy, he is angry. Cale Yarborough. Stone face. Now we will have to wait and watch. Stevie Waltrip and Darrell have already begun to celebrate, and here comes Yarborough's car out of victory circle. They're going to roll Darrell Waltrip's machine in. Here comes the Waltrip car, and Darrell Waltrip has been declared the winner of the 1981 Pocono 500. So the celebration now begins for real in victory circle as Darrell Waltrip is our leader. And the scoreboard has been changed now to reflect that. Richard Petty came home second. Benny Parsons came home in third. Harry Gant in fourth. And Cale Yarborough down in fifth place. And we understand that a fine will be levied against Yarborough for staying in victory lane. For Gary Gerald, this is Paul Page. So long from... Doyle Ford has the white flag in hand. Now he begins to wave it to Darrell Waltrip, and we've got one more lap to go. Two and a half miles for Darrell Waltrip, and he will win the Champions Park Plug 500. And behind him, the battle is tightened up for second place. Mark Martin has caught Dale Earnhardt going into turn one. Almost caught him. He's still got a couple of free car lengths there, but he has been picking up on pretty good in the last two or three laps. So Mark Martin is running in third position, and this will be his best finish of the year if he does take the checkered flag there. He has recorded two fourth-place finishes in 1991 at Darlington and at Bristol, but the third that he's running here today will be his best of the year. Darrell Walter now sets up for turn number three for the final time this afternoon, the Western Auto Chevy looking for his second victory of 1991 into turn number three. Keeping the car low on the racetrack, now coming off the corner, sees the checkered flag, and Darrell Waltrip wins the Champion Spark Plug 500 here at Pocono. Earnhardt second, followed by Mark Martin, then Harry Gant, Jeff Bodine, Ernie Irvin, Ken Schrader, Sterling Marlin, Morgan Shepard, and Derek Cope. Let's go to Jerry Punch with Jeff Hammond. The white flag will be waving, Bob. Yep, it's going to be exciting. One more lap to go. Yeah, the purpose of staying out there and to take the chance is not to finish second. So you got to stand on the accelerator and you got to take the lead away from Darrell Waltrip. And that is exactly what Harry Gant 
motive and his desire is at the moment. However, it is Darrell Walter who is continuing to hold the lead as we watch that battle between Musgrave and Mark Martin. Here is Darrell Waltrip still up to speed on the long pond straightaway headed for turn number two. He's crashed down a little bit over Darrell as he went through turns one and two. That's the car into the tunnel, tunnel turn. It's almost like Harry ran out of gas or something coming off that corner. He's got just a, another corner to manipulate and then on to the long straightaway and halfway down it for the checkered flag. Yeah, he's stretched out now over Harry Gann and the Western Auto crew is saying, come on, Daryl, come on, Daryl. Here he comes off of corner number three. Didn't coast the rest of the way He's down. got it. Daryl Waltrip has won the Miller Genuine Drafts 500. Conservation. He has won. Gant finishes in second position. Kawicki third. Look at this battle for fourth position between Ted Musgrave and Mark Martin. Musgrave got it. That was fifth position they were racing for, wasn't it? Well, that was fourth. Yeah, they we're, don't have Ricky Rudd on that. They don't have Ricky Rudd in there. Evidently, they missed Rudd. Let's get out of John Kernan.